With a fiscal shortfall looming over the government of Guam, agencies like the Department of Education are anticipating millions of dollars in budget cuts. PNC's Rebecca Elmore has the details. The government of Guam is gearing up for another fiscal shortfall. Subsequently, all government agencies are being asked to determine how to reduce budgets or increase revenues to address the impending impact. And I, you know, I think the, the numbers we were hearing were ranging from $40 million to $100 million for the government as a whole. So the information we got was a more precise estimate, um, and it was, I guess, in the amount of $47 million. And then uh, the, the directive from, the, uh, from BBMR was to begin to um, develop um, and to submit you know, plans for either uh, addressing our you know, budget reductions or for de developing revenue enhancements. In an announcement to the media, Superintendent John Fernandez shared that his department, also the largest department in Gov Guam, will be asked to reduce their budget in the next eight months. So for us, on a pro rata basis, that means that for uh, DOE, we're talking about uh, approximately $19 million um, in FY18 and then pro uh, approximately $24 million in FY19. This also means that DOE will have to act relatively quickly in identifying the areas to reduce spending. Uh, however, I, because the $19 million is a, is a significant amount to absorb in one fiscal year, I've asked uh, my staff to cost out the uh, possible freezing of school-based positions. So Fernandez has already identified a few critical areas that could help curb costs. Central hiring freeze, contractual services, and utility consumption. There's even talk of consolidating or closing schools. I mentioned that the board uh, would consider, um, you know, in, in the extreme, would consider mm -hmm. the possible closure or consolidation of schools. It's important to note that none of these ideas are final. DOE is simply required to identify areas that could be scaled back. Now it's not going to be very easy in addition to what we're putting on the table. We also um, issued an email to all of our stakeholders to seek their input. You know, are there, are there areas that they deem, um, you know, areas that we can save? Are there areas where we can generate revenue? And with those ideas, hopefully there's something that we haven't seen before that they'll be able to put on the table. But I, I don't think it's a matter of finding the cuts. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's a matter of finding the revenue solutions, mm -hmm. right? The hard part is dealing with the consequences. Yeah. The hard part is figuring out, can you deal with the consequences? Can we as a community deal with the consequences? Reporting for PNC News, I'm Rebecca Elmore.